What's up family? Welcome back to yet another educational video. As you can see, I have my charts at the back of me and definitely what we'll be doing is that we'll be analyzing the markets for the week. We'll be focusing them for the week, you know, with proven results, definitely with being so accurate in most of our focus and analysis. And definitely this is not just any type of analysis out there. This is gonna educate you, this is gonna inform you to grow as a trader and to know where exactly where the market is gonna go. I'm gonna deliver it with so much understanding, knowledge and precise accuracy. So definitely make sure you watch till the end. So even if you are a beginner trader, intermediate or a pro trader, this video is definitely for you. And of course, just before we can just go right into our chart, right? The Lord has been impressing in my heart that I share the scripture with you. It's from the book of James chapter one, verse, uh, verse five, where he talks about, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, for he will give you generously, right? Without finding fault and it will be given to you. So why the scripture? Well, the Lord has been saying that most of you guys, as you look at uh, other traders who are up there, you think that most of the time is either we are highly intelligent, highly educated traders, hence we're able to make money off the markets. And in, in most cases, that's not the actual thing, right? The actual thing is wisdom. Many of the times in order to get rich or to make money or rather to be a consistent trader, it really requires wisdom. And a lot of you guys are qualified, have PhDs, masters, but you're still struggling. So it is not your intelligence that you depend on to thrive in this industry. It is the wisdom that you can freely ask from God. It is, a, it is easy as asking from God. So as you're about to step into this week, family, I want you to really, you know, go into your place of prayer and really ask God to give you wisdom with anything that you're about to do, with anything that you're doing, whether it be trading or business or, or even school itself. When you have wisdom, you do things better. That's what actually wisdom means. That means you find a better way, right? A more excellent way of doing things that will work for you where you work smart or where you trade smart. So definitely, I want you guys to go into the week having that mentality and definitely wisdom is gonna clock in and you become a profitable and a consistent trader. I've said a mouthful, but let's jump into the markets right now. Okay, family, as you can see, we are on the market right now. We are on NASDAQ. It's quite a very beautiful, clear structure, but to many, it might not as uh, it, it might not be as clear as it appears. So I'm going to break it down for you step by step over here that you can completely understand. So as we can see in terms of the main bigger trend, the, the bigger picture here that we can see is that while the market has been selling, we can see structure in terms of um, higher highs, lower lows. And of course, once we created that, we created a lower high, uh, lower lows, and I'm just gonna take the main lower lows, of course, and lower highs. You can see lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. And of course, we can see this lower, lower high, lower low. And of course, it actually just created this as our new lower low. So we wanna break it down in terms of the main trend and the intra trend that we can see over here to say the main trend is actually this one right here where we see the market actually just, you know, selling. But we do have here what something interesting just happened in this uh, piece of price action that I really wanna break down for you that we can have an understanding exactly where we are going. So if we can just look at it is that I do take the highs of the market. So the clear high and the clear low, okay? So I'm just gonna take it right at the week, right there. Then once I've done that, I break down the structure. So it's quite beautiful. I've done this before in terms of, there's a change of character here. In fact, let me just do it. Let me not assume that you guys have seen my previous videos, but you have not, make sure to subscribe guys and check them out. So I have a change of character right there. We've broken the last lower, I mean, uh, yeah. The last high low of the market, it was broken and therefore that was our change of character. And of course we do have a break of structure over here. 
So we have a beautiful break of structure that we can see the market has been actually giving us. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, clone it for us there so that we can get to move on. So we have break of structure even here, and we also have another um, break of structure as we go on. I'm just gonna put them loosely. So there are lots or there are a lot of breaks of structure, as you can see, that were validating that we're in a downtrend. Okay, so now that we're in a downtrend, we can see this was the last break of structure, but this break of structure's last lower high was actually this one right here. Let me just mark it for us. So we can see the last break of structure lower high. This was the lower high that broke that structure and it was broken. The market came back and actually broke it again. Um, and now it broke it to the upside where we can now say that's our change of character. So I kind of gave you exactly what it is, a valid change of character. Okay. A valid change of character must have two things. It must have a break of structure to the downside and that's when we can say the, um, the last lower high there, that's a valid change of character that the market has broken. If we do not have this, that means the market was did not actually turn around. Okay. And of course, as we was doing that, we do have now another break of structure that we can clearly see here um, in this uptrend that we can see that it has actually started in terms of we did have that as a higher high the market went back down to create a new lower high indicating to us that we're in an uptrend it used what we call now a demand level because we're in buys so as you can see we did have this demand that the market actually came back into and the market rallied all the way up so this being our last lower low it may be a future demand level especially if the market has not mitigated it yet but we also have a beautiful structure here that's happening in terms of uh, we can clearly see if we can call this why did the market sell we can clearly see that we did have this supply from the original trend or the main trend that we did have that sold the market. So it's kind of a bit of a conflict to a lot of uh, traders out there, what's really happening. So this week will really prove if there are more buyers and sellers. And what we mean by that, when you're trading in the retail market, we're trading contracts. So uh, if there are many buyers, that means there are many buyers who bought contracts of Nasdaq. So they are buying so many in a particular price that moves the market up or down. So in this case, we do have a conflict of interest in terms of that, especially to a technical trader who doesn't know the fundamental influence of this. But I'm gonna guide you guys. So we're gonna mark down a lot of them. So we can clearly see from then on then, we did have this supply influencing and push the market down. And of course it tried to pull back up and then now we can say that was a now a change of character, okay? But this change of character can only last, yeah, in fact, let's actually see. So this ch change of character while the market broke it, pulled back, and of course it pulled back into areas like here. And of course that area will make more sense as we go to the H4. So let's go like ahead to the H4. So we can clearly see now as we go to the H4, this area where the market sold, it makes a lot of sense what actually influenced it to actually sell. So we did have a supply, I mean, a supply over there that really influenced this market to sell. One can say, well, I could have took this supply over here. So it's all about perspective, okay? So this supply was big enough to actually influence this market to kind of really have that sell that we saw off in, in NFP, even though the NFP just pushed the market a little bit up. So now we can see we do have that supply. We do have breaks of structure uh, in terms of uh, this trend that we now see or have now have identified in the four hour. I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna break it down for you guys. Uh, chat work, it is a lot of work, okay? 
So we have another brick of structure so that in order we can make a good hypothesis in terms of what we can see, right? And of course, we are right here uh, in terms of today as I'm analyzing this just before the market is gonna open. We are right here. And of course, if now, so listen carefully, guys, if right now the market breaks this point right here, it's gonna be a break of structure. If it breaks it, that means that we're gonna look off a trading from this supplies over here. If it does not break it, that means it is now using this as a demand area to obey this market here. So if it does not break this area, family, that means that it is now obeying this trend here and it wants to continue as what we call a deep pullback so it will actually use this if it's now gonna buy okay so i want you to pay attention to this uh price action this coming week family i want you to pay attention to it so if it's gonna go up if it does not break this that means we are respecting a demand level of this and we're gonna trade and take this as liquidity in the markets but if it does not that means that we're gonna be trading off demand areas that we can see in the market so i'm gonna now i mean supply areas family i must say it right before some of you um, persecute me so we can clearly see over here we do have a supply so this supply was mitigated and i'm just gonna mark it with an arrow so since it was i'm gonna just mark it with an arrow sold right and of course we do have another supply that the market has not mitigated yet so i'm gonna take it from that candle all the way there we can see that this supply has not been mitigated and an interesting fact that i actually want to highlight on the h1 here to see liquidity in the markets it's going to be quite interesting this week okay so i'm going to clearly wait for this to break in order to validate we're still going back up remember guys break of structure would be the validation that we're still going to continue in a downtrend so if we don't break this we're going to clearly use it as what we call a demand level right and of course there are a lot of traders who are going to want to trade this as a double bottom uh and you know anticipate the market to go up so what i see right is that the market will make this traders pay will push the market up a bit to this um uh, to this area of supply and then of course hit their SLs right there and then push the market up to this to also take this and then of course push the market down so let me let me just step back to actually show you what i mean so there is a liquidity here in the market that i want to highlight Okay, so there is this point of liquidity that the market will take. And of course, this supply is very much valid because we do have a lot of imbalance right here. We do have a lot of imbalance. If we can just point it out, there will be an attraction to the market, right? So if we can have this imbalance pushing all the way here, that means it's a valid supply. So that means I do anticipate the market to... Uh, pull back up just a bit, take them, and then take that liquidity, maybe uh, at least 50% into that supply, then get to sell the market. Family, this is my honest review in this. But again, it will only be that this gets taken as liquidity validate structure, and it's gonna be liquidity in the market. So I can label it as a break of structure that I anticipate to be broken. So can be a break of structure as well as it's gonna be liquidity for the market when it gets to take this equal highs, I mean equal lows right here when we break it. And of course, how is it gonna do? It's gonna give them a bit of profit or in fact, they are, they are, they are, they are already in most of them right here. It's gonna give them the profit and of course sell them off, hit their SLs and then once it is triggered, uh, the, the sellers here, they're going to buy the market, hit their um, SLs as well. And then once here, many of them are going to anticipate we are selling. 
hit their stop losses and sell the market eventually. So this is the structure that I see. So overall, what is my conclusion? That means we are going to be obeying in terms of structure. We are going to be obeying the long-term structure. That's what we're going to be obeying over here. So I hope this has blessed you so much. Please do comment down below on what you see in the markets, what you think, what's going to happen on your site, analytically so. We don't just a comment based off our thoughts to I see a buy because I really hate that so much. Let's say just see a buy. Tell me in context why you see a buy or why you see a sell. Analytically list down all your confluences why you would say that time frame let it have confluence and reason to it in terms of your comment. I would really appreciate that as a trading community as viewers and subscribers of Prophetic Forex. Definitely if you're watching this for the very first time and you like the content that you see make sure to subscribe family like this video so it can get to um, you know go out to other people who actually would love this type of content just like you and definitely do share it to a few groups out there to your friends as well definitely i believe this is gonna bless them so much yeah definitely so i'm signing out familiar we'll see you tomorrow on the next educational video god bless you